In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer a domain from Namecheap over to Hostinger. Now, this is going to be a step by step guide, so follow this and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So, first, you want to go to Namecheap, go ahead and sign into your account here, and you want to head over to your dashboard or your account. Once you're in your dashboard, you may see some domains, but if you go to domain list on the left here, you'll then be shown all of your domains. Now I'm going to transfer over this domain here, how to online how to guide dot click. So if you go ahead and click on manage, you'll, you'll need to get into this later. We can then go ahead and copy the domain and head over to Hostinger. So go ahead and log into your Hostinger account and it will take you to this homepage. From here, you then want to go to domains and then click here where it says transfer an existing domain. Here, what you can do is you can then paste in your domain into this window. Now your domain needs to be registered for over 60 days. It needs to be unlocked and you need to have an authorization code. I'll show you how you can unlock it in a second. But enter your domain name in this window and then click transfer. Now if your domain is locked, you'll get a message on Hostinger. Now if it isn't, it should show you the following. So if it is unlocked, you will get this message which, which says ready for transfer and you can then follow through with the purchase, which I'll go through in a, in a second. If it is locked, however, Hostinger will say your domain is locked. And to unlock it, you want to go to Namecheap. You then want to go to sharing and transfer on your domain and then scroll down. And here you'll see transfer out. You can see domain lock is off. Now, this may be turned on for some of you guys. You just want to go ahead and turn it off. So now once you've got your domain lock turned off, you now should have this message which says ready for transfer. Maybe refresh your page if you've only just turned it off. Now you can go ahead and click on purchase and you can see we're purchasing a domain transfer. I can go ahead and edit the payment method here. So I'm going to pay with PayPal. Okay, so I've just agreed and paid and that payment should then go through. Okay, so it looks like that payment's now gone through fine. We've now got a notification on home and billing. So I'm going to click on billing first to make sure everything's okay. So you can see that this domain transfer is now pending setup. So what we want to do now is we want to click on setup. It's going to ask you then to set up a domain profile. Um, it, you probably have your address here. Mine's already been blurred. Additionally, you can add a new profile and then click select and continue. Once you've done that, you're going to need your domain authorization code. Now we can find this on Namecheap. So if you go to Namecheap, you're on your domain, you go to sharing and transfer. You can then scroll down to transfer out and get the authorization code. Select option, I'm just going to put technical and then send code. Now it's going to go ahead and send you a code to your email. Okay, so here's my authorization code, which I'm just going to copy. Then we can go back to Hostinger and we can just paste that in here. Now you can choose what DNS records you want to set by default. You can use the Hostinger name servers and DNS records. You can keep the existing name servers if you're already like redirecting them to a specific website or you've linked them with Hostin. Ultimately, it's up to you, but you can change this once your domain has been transferred. But click on transfer domain. And now you can see the domain transfer will take up to five to seven business days to complete. And you can check the process in your domain list, which is going to be here. So there you go. Just wait between five and seven days and your domain will be appear in Hostinger.